Welcome to the stunning DIY fire pit ideas. You can get inspiration from the ideas we will feature in this video. Check this out. Fire pits are much more efficient and easier to maintain than traditional three stone stoves, not to mention, much more aesthetically pleasing. But this DIY guide is not just for making a simple fire. You could save yourself the hassle and sit next to a fake one at your nearest Starbucks, if that's all you're trying to do. This guide is for you to gather your friends and plan for an outing. Get a game plan. First things first make sure you know what you are about to do, what you need, and where you are going to do it. Take your time and do some research on what you want your fire pit to look like. In this guide, we will focus on constructing a round stone pit but you can definitely vary it to your liking using these concepts as a base. Check building codes in your neighborhood to get up to speed on proper specs and regulations and make a list of the tools and supplies needed to construct your dream fire pit. The materials. For a basic concrete stone pit, you'll need to visit your local hardware store and purchase the following supplies. Concrete pavers plan to purchase enough to build a circular wall at least 12 in high and 36 to 44 in diameter. Bag of sand. Shovel. Tape measure. Level. Steel rake. Need help? Talk to someone at your local hardware store to troubleshoot which materials will be best for your particular environment. Pick the perfect spot. Put some thought into picking out a spot for your fire pit and take some time to observe your yard, the terrain, and where you will be hanging out most frequently on a chilly winter night. For safety, search out an open area well away from your house, low-hanging tree branches, utility lines, and other plants and structures. Now it's time to prep the chosen area. Dig IT. Use your rake or other yard tools to level and clear out weeds, rocks, and smooth bumpy, uneven ground for a flat, solid surface. Take safety to the next level and dig a shallow hole removing the topsoil. You want to dig a moderate, 12 in a deep hole right in the middle of the circle, which will be surrounded by pavers. Remember to watch out for those pesky utility lines. Size up your pit circle. Lay the concrete pavers in a circle about 36 to 44 inches in diameter and measure with tape and a level. Try using a round barbecue grill grate as a measuring guide when layering the pavers. Next, continue to stack the pavers in a circle. You can either stack leaving a crack of space between each or lay pavers side by side. You can make your pit larger or smaller in size depending on what you want. If you are using a grate as a guide, simply layer pavers around it to look like a sun disk with rays. Just add sand. Now comes the sandy part. Layer sand on the bottom and tamp till level. You don't have to just use sand either gravel works just as well. Cover the center of the pit with a thick layer of sand slash gravel. Stack those stones. Once the sand is down pat, continue on your layering quest. Stack as many pavers around the circle to your liking, at least 12 inches above the ground. You can build the wall as high as you fancy, but make sure there are at least two layers surrounding the shallow dig. Pour the second layer of sand into the circle, completely covering the first layer. Make sure that overall, the sand is at least 4 inches deep. Enjoy safely. Now that your fire pit is complete, it's time to grab some hot cider and light it up. Just be safe when dealing with fire and monitor flames responsibly. Fire pits are a hot commodity. These attractive additions can dress up a drab yard with mesmerizing flames while serving as a gathering place for afternoon barbecues, evening drinks, and late night s'mores. Before building a fire pit, however, you should become fully informed as to local regulations, construction requirements, and potential hazards. So study up here with these DOS and don'ts so you won't get burned. Don't build a fire pit without approval from local authorities. Your local government, homeowners association, and house deed may impose restrictions on the size, location, material, and fuel type of home fire pits, or forbid them altogether, due to the potential for fire-related property damages. If your fire pit flouts these rules, you may be fined. Contact your municipality's planning office and homeowners association, and review the deed for your house, to ensure that you comply with all restrictions and obtain any permits required for fire pit installation. Do consider accessibility when choosing a fire pit size. Building a fire pit yourself offers room for customization on every detail, size included. 
local ordinances permitting, your fire pit should ideally measure between 36 and 44 inches wide, including the width of the walls, to accommodate multiple people around it while maintaining an intimate setting. Aim for a fire pit height of 12 to 14 inches from the base of the walls to the top of the walls if you want guests to be able to prop their feet on it while seated around it on standard 18-inch tall dining height patio chairs. Increase the pit height to 18 to 20 inches tall if you want to be able to comfortably sit directly on the edge of the pit. Don't position fire pits in hazard-prone zones with unfavorable winds. Plan to install your fire pit on a patch of level ground in an open area of the yard that's at least 15 feet from other residences and at least 10 feet from property lines, flammable structures such as wooden sheds, bushes, and trees. In addition, use the National Water and Climate Center's Wind Rose tool to identify the prevailing wind direction in your location. You want to ensure that you won't have smoke blowing into your home through open doors or windows. Don't use flammable or non-porous, water-retaining building materials. Fire pits commonly consist of an inner wall, an outer wall, a cap, I, E, a flat tabletop-like surface around the opening at the top of the pit, and decorative stones or rocks in the center of the pit. The inner wall must be made of fireproof building materials, optimally fire brick, the outer walls should still be heat-resistant but can be made of traditional brick, stone, masonry blocks, consisting of brick, concrete, granite, etc. Concrete pavers, or even heat-resistant outdoor stucco or tile. Flagstone and crushed stone are ideal materials for the fire pit cap, and the stones in the center of the pit, respectively. No part of the fire pit should be made with flammable materials, e. g. Plywood shipping pallets, or non-porous materials that hold water, such as pea gravel, river rocks, or compressed concrete blocks, these materials can trap steam and eventually explode. Do install a steel ring in the fire pit. When building a fire pit, lining the innermost wall with a steel fire ring, available on Amazon from brands like Sunny Days Decor, will prevent the wall material from drying out from regular exposure to the heat of the fire. As a non-combustible material, the steel will ward off heat and keep the wall itself from prematurely dehydrating and crumbling, this will preserve the looks and structural integrity of your fire pit longer. Do consider fuel supply equipment and emissions when determining fuel type. Ethanol, propane, and natural gas are all sound fire pit fuel options as they emit no smoke, sparks, or embers, and leave no ashes to clean up. Ethanol, the cleanest of all fuel types, it additionally burns without odor, must be supplied via an ethanol tank or tray and propane fueled pits require a connection to a liquid propane tank. Natural gas fueled fire pits have a more involved setup, however, as they require the gas company to install a supply line, do-it-yourself gas line installation isn't recommended. While wood-burning fire pits require no gas lines, they kick up a high volume of smoke, sparks, and embers, call for frequent ash removal, and make large flames difficult to extinguish, all reasons why city planning departments commonly forbid them. Do factor in return on investment when weighing building costs. While a basic fire pit costs $700 on average, prices run the gamut from $300 for a DIY install of a homemade fire pit, to $1,400 or more for a professional install of a pre-built fire pit. That said, fire pits are such a coveted architectural feature nowadays that you can expect to recoup 78% of your investment when you sell your home. Do invest in fire safety gear. If going forward with a fire pit installation, keep a fire blanket, a fire retardant sheet usually made of fiberglass or Kevlar, available on Amazon from brands like Hotheads, within reach to help smother the beginnings of a fire on nearby objects or people. Similarly, store a fire extinguisher in a nearby outdoor grill cabinet, shed, or garage. The extinguisher should be a multi-purpose dry chemical model, which means it can effectively extinguish Class A, involving combustibles, B, involving flammable liquids, and C, electrical, fires. Thank you for watching this video, don't forget to support this channel by clicking the subscribe button and pressing the bell button to get the latest video notifications from us. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with your friends or family. See you in the next video.